G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in today's video is we're going to be looking at ways of doing long division. These are numbers above 10 um, and we're going to be having a look at some rather um, big numbers today and this is actually the fourth part of a four part video series I've done on a different way of working out long division. This is an easier way of working out long division. Okay, so the, the links to the previous videos are up there. Okay, there we go. But if you reckon you're, you're game, you might want to even try to go along with these. Um, so what we're going to be having a look at is, I'm going to just launch into, we're going to start looking at, say, numbers where we're trying to do, say, something like 42, and see how many times that goes into, I'll go something a bit easy at the moment, 5,234. Now, in previous videos, what we've been doing is we've been looking at the number, which is a tens number which is closest to this. A tens number close to this one is 40. So we get the 4 and we put that there. But to get from 42 to 40 we have to subtract 2. Now this is a little bit different from what's happened in previous videos of mine where it's always been numbers which have quite conveniently made a plus 2 or a plus 3. They've always been the you know, numbers we're going upwards. This is our multiplier. Okay? And we just treat it like a negative number. All right. So these these numbers for you guys who have watched the previous videos, you're going to realise the trick with a lot of this is we're going to be using this multiplier, and we're going to also use previous answers that we've got from the question from our other part of the uh, question to work out our answers. Okay. So let's go through these. All right. So four goes into five. How many times it goes in once? All right. A nice easy one, and it has a one remainder. Okay, so what we're left with now is we've got 12, and 12, what we do to this 12 is we add to it this number times a multiplier, so 1 plus 1 times minus 2. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, so what we're going to be doing is adding on minus 2, which is the same as taking away 2. Alright, so 12 take 2 is 10. 10 divided by 4 is 2, remainder 2. Okay, so what have we got now? We've got 23, and what are we going to be doing with this 23? This 23, we're going to be getting this 2 and this minus 2, 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4, we're taking that off. We get the answer of 19. 19 divided by 4 equals how much? 4, with a 3 remainder. Now this leaves us, last of all, with our remainder number which is 34 34 and we're using this number here 4 times this multiplier so 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 so 34 take 8 gives us the answer of 26 so we have a remainder of 26 and that's an example of when we start to get this negative multiplier so all we're doing compared to the other ones is we're taking things away Okay, pretty cool, right? What about we get on to uh, another one of these? All right. And the ideas for these are very much the same. So if you haven't seen my other videos and, and you're finding it a little bit hard, you might want to just go and have a look at uh, those particular videos, and I think you'll you'll really really appreciate those. So let's get to a, something a bit harder now. Let's get a big number. Let's put 62, and we're going to be dividing that into something huge. Uh, let's say 235,813. All right. So. To get to 60, we had to take 2. This is our multiplier. Okay. All right, let's start working this out. 6 goes into 2. Well, it doesn't go into 2. 6 goes into 23 three times, and it has a leftover of 5. It has a 5 remainder. So we're going to get 55 here, and what we're going to do is 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, so 55 minus 6 equals 49. So 49 divided by 6 equals 8 with a remainder of 1. Alright, leaves us with this next number which is 18. What are we going to do with this 18 now? Well, 8 times minus 2 is minus 16. So we're going to take that off. So 18 takes 16 equals 2. So 2 divided by 6, we cannot do. We're going to have to carry that number across. 
All right. Okay, so we now are left with 21. 21, and what do we do with this 21? Well, 0 times 6 is 0, so we can't really do much. So 21 divided by 6 equals 3, and there is 3 left over. Okay, cool. So this leaves us, last of all, with our remainder number. Okay? Almost worked this out. I know it seems sometimes too easy, this. Uh, okay, there's a couple little tricks here and there. So 33... And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding to that 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6. So we're taking away 6. 3 takes 33 takes 6 equals 27. We have a remainder of 27. Pretty cool, right? There's our answer there. All right, I'm going to go through one last one. And this last one has a little trick that if you might have gone off on your own now and thought, I've got the hang of what he's doing and tried one, you might have come up against this trick. This uh, you know, this this can happen. So what we'll do is I'll put up this very last type of question you might get, which is, say when we get a little trick like this one, okay, so say we're trying to work out how many times 42 now goes into 37,418. Now, this, you're going to see a little problem. Okay, this is a little trick. It's not a problem. It's a, just that little thing you have to do. Okay, so the number closest to this is 40. All right, and that's a minus two. Once again, I know I'm, I'm being a bit biased towards these. They're they're a lot easier to explain. So, so this again is our multiplier. Okay. All right, now four goes into three. Well, it doesn't go into three. It goes in zero amount of times, and so we have to carry the three across. Thirty-seven. Well, four goes into that. Well, nine times. Okay. Pretty good with that so far. And there's one left over. So we get this 14. And what we're going to do is we get the, we're get we going to add to it this 9 times minus 2, which is minus 18. So we go 14, take away 18. Oh, we've got a problem, haven't we? Because this is going to actually give us a minus number. And, oh, that, that's really, really difficult, isn't it? There's a little trick you have to do when you get this sort of thing. And what this is, is you have to go through and borrow one from the previous answer, okay? And I'll show you this right now, okay? So I'll get rid of that. So, rather than having 14 here, what we're going to actually do is, it, we, we, I'm just going to go back and reconsider this particular number here, okay? So, 37 divided by 4. Okay, there's a couple of ways we could look at the answer here. We could look at this answer as being, uh, okay, so what the answer we got was 9, remainder 1, or we could also call it 8 with a remainder of 5, because 4 eighths are 32, plus 5 is 37. This is the one we're going to be using. I'm going to steal this 8 here. And we're actually going to get a remainder of 5. So all we're doing is taking this number down 1, and we're going to add this number to this one here, 54. Okay. So now what we do is we're, we're going to work with these numbers. Okay. So it's a little bit of a trick here. Okay. You have to steal one, but it's not one you're stealing. It's actually <laughs> 4 in this case. Okay. This is a little trick that's probably the hardest thing for people to get used to with this. Okay, so if you think about it in terms of remainders, like I just put down then, it might be a little bit easier. So 54 now, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking away not 9 times 2, it's now 8 times minus 2. Okay, so we're going to be taking away 16. And the answer we're going to get for that is 54 take away 16 equals 38. Now 38 divided by 4 equals 9 with a remainder of 2. OK, pretty cool, right? Let's get on to the next one. So we have 21 here, 21. And what we're going to be doing is 9 times minus 2 is minus 18. So we're going to take away 18. We get the answer of 3. So 3 divided by 4, we get a 0. OK, and we carry that 3 along. So last of all now, we just work out that remainder number. So we've got the answer of 38, and we actually don't do anything to it, because 0 times minus 2 is 0, so we leave it at that. So we have a remainder of 38. Pretty cool, right? That's our answer. So that's just what to do when you get that little thing with that little trick there. That's the, the way to do it. Anyway, thanks a lot. See you next time.